Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we're starting off this video in my pajamas. I wanted to make sure I was nice and comfy because I knew this was going to be a big task to tackle for today. So I'm just showing you the big disaster that's taking over my closet. As you can see, I have tons of stuff that don't belong in there right at the bottom. All of like my clothing, the hangers and things like that are a big mess. The cupboards aren't organized anymore. Down below, I have like bins and such that don't aren't supposed to be in there. So the first thing I'm doing is just taking out all of these clothes that actually are Mila's that don't quite fit her yet. I figured she has enough room in her armoire, so I would go ahead and put that back in there. And then for my closet, I'm starting off with the right hand side, which happens to be all of the tops and getting rid of things that I will no longer be wearing anymore or I haven't worn in a really long time. I decided I'm going to stick with a policy like if I haven't worn something in about three to four months, of course, hence weather change, we are going to just go ahead and get rid of it. So that's going to be a pile of things I'm either donating or selling. On this left hand side, I actually happen to have a lot of formal dresses. So I'm going to be selling a lot of those. I've heard really great things about the Poshmark app. So I figured I would download it and I'll give that a try to see how it goes with selling some of my items on there. If it's really easy, great for me. So I'm going to be adding some of these items that I either wore for like baby showers, bridal showers, any type of like party weddings that I've had. So I'm putting that in the pile over there and then sorting through anything else that I will not be using anymore. I'll also have pop up on the screen my username for Poshmark if some of you want to check out some of the items that I'm selling if you may be interested. And then of course I'll have it written down in the description bar as well if that's a little bit easier for some of you. And then my wedding dress was also taking up a lot of that closet space because I have not yet preserved it. I'm thinking about saving it for Mila's communion one day and turning her communion dress from parts of my wedding dress. I think that would be a nice touch. So kind of debating, should I preserve it? Should I save it for that? Until then, it'll just kind of stay in my closet for now, but I'm actually probably gonna move into like a larger storage closet so it doesn't take too much room here. Then I'm taking everything from the right-hand side and moving it onto the left. This way I can go ahead and sort through everything and categorize it the way I like. So now as you can see that shelf is totally empty and I can go ahead and hang things the right way. So I love these non-slip hangers. These are my absolute favorite. And for these, I actually have two colors. I have the gold, as you can see, as well as the silver. For my tops and bottoms, on the right-hand side, I'll stick with the silver ones. And for the left, for my jackets, rompers, and dresses, I'm going to stick with the silver ones. I'll have these linked down in the description bar as well for those of you interested. I've tried lots and lots of hangers, and these, honestly, are the most durable, last the longest. And I feel like they're really great. As you can see here, I like to hang my bottoms on them. So I'll put like two bottoms on there and hangs my tops, my jackets. And I've never had an issue with anything like breaking or getting ruined at all. And this is the pile of everything that I will be either selling or donating. So it feels nice to purge it and see this big, huge pile that no longer going to be taking up my closet of things I don't use. Now for the bottom portion. I have things that also don't belong in there like this big bin happens to be clothes of Mila's that don't fit her anymore that I'm saving if one day I end up having a little girl again. So we're going to put that down in the basement for storage because it doesn't really belong in this closet. Then for the bottom, as you guys can see, I have a lot of Mila's books. We've been gifted a few extras and then she loves to take them out of the shelf and kind of shove them under there. So I want to reorganize that. And then we're going to go ahead and clean, of course. So I'm vacuuming everything on the floor, in the shelves, because there was like a lot of dust accumulated. And then I'm going to be taking my Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray and spraying down that little rack that I have there. And this is the loveliness that happens when you don't tackle a particular area for a while. So I'm also doing the same thing for the floor since it's pretty hard to kind of mop in there in those places. So just like I do with my bathroom floors, I like to just by hand clean them down. So that's what I'm doing. And then sorting through her books to put them back organized into the actual um, 
book area down here so I tend to share this shelf a little bit with Mila since it is in her room so for like extra toys books and things like that she does have an armoire that in her dresser of course that fits all of her clothing so I have this one since the bedroom closet is really small Mike takes that one and then I got to get this larger closet that's in Mila's room I'm just going to go ahead and put some of her like coloring books that's really this little craft basket that I have for her kind of fits and she doesn't do any type of crazy arts and crafts just yet and then for these cubbies as you can see they're filled with clothes this was not the intent of them when I had Mike put these in the closet the reason I have these clothes in here is because if you guys know I was working on my bedroom makeover I did not yet have bedroom furniture so that was kind of a temporary thing now that that room is all done I can go ahead and take those items and move them back into my dressers and this can be empty and used for other purposes I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with them so if you guys have any nice ideas that you think I should use for just maybe displaying something or organizing something in these shelves definitely let me know down in the comment section below now on to the lower left portion I have this duffel bag that I like to keep all of my little travel bags so like beach bags backpacks that I keep it all together so once it comes comes time for us to travel anywhere I'll have it all sorted in there they're totally empty just ready for my use for my next traveling then I have my brand new um, safety kit thankfully for me Mila has never been a child that has been touching everything so I actually never had to put up any of like those safety gates or anything on my knobs and things like that so that worked out for me we'll save it for baby number two and then same thing like I did on the other side, just wiping everything down, getting it clean for the floors as well as the shelves that I have in there. This is what it looks like totally empty on the bottom now that we removed everything. As you can see, a huge difference from removing that. And now it is time to organize the things back in like the categories and the way that I would like to have it hung once again. This way it can just be much more functional and have everything kind of have a purpose of where it belongs and we could utilize a lot more space. So the way I like to sort my tops is by sleeve length. So I'm first starting off with all of the long sleeves. So I'm going to be taking them out of that rack. As you can see, I put everything kind of over there for now till I could sort through it. So we're gonna do long sleeves, three quarter sleeves, t-shirts, and then of course, um, tank tops. You guys are also going to be seeing me taking some things and swapping off the hangers that is because once it got a mess my policy of having like the gold ones to the right and the left one silver kind of went out the window it was just too much of a disaster to even keep up with so now that we're getting back into organizing and having it the way that I like it I just needed to take a lot of the clothing off of the wrong hanger and put them on the right color. Then for the top part, I am going to be selling a lot of these Praka books, but I just put them up there for now. This way they can be all together once I have the time to take pictures since we know it's going to take a while to take the clothing pics. Then I want to show you these little hooks that I put on my act in my actual closet so I like to label them with my label maker they go on so easily you guys know I use these in Mila's armor as well and it makes it much easier to find anything and most importantly when you're putting things back I feel like if everything's kind of just shoved in there you don't know where one part let's say like the jackets meet the dresses and things like that so these little labelers work out perfectly and I use them in all of our closets then I'm just folding a little sleeping bag that Mila actually got for Easter along with other toys I put in that basket are things that she does not know are in there. So when I feel like she's getting bored of other things, I kind of pop out a new toy from there to kind of keep her entertained. I keep that in my closet so she doesn't go in there and know what's in there. Then as you can see for my belts, my scarves, I like to hang them on hangers. It's really easy access to see. And then for my pants, I put two bottoms per hanger. I fold them in half. They tend to stay nice and I don't really have to like re-iron them. If I leave it like this, I've been doing this for about a month and I really like it because it saves so much space. It's easy to grab. And this is everything now for my closet organization. Just showing you guys what a big difference it makes now that everything is where it's supposed to be. This bottom shelf, I'm looking to possibly put like all of like, let's say new shoes that I buy so I don't forget about them. I have a no shoe policy, so I don't want to put any of the shoes that I actually wear in there, but we can definitely put the shoes, like I said, that I've bought and I want to remember to wear them, display them on the bottom down there. Then we have all of our tops as well as our bottoms on the black and gold hangers, nice and organized, easy to sort.
for the left side of the closet. As you guys can tell, I have lots and lots of extra space after being able to get rid of a lot of the dresses that I've worn either once or haven't even worn before. So we have all these extra hangers, so if I buy new things, new jackets or dresses, I definitely have space to go ahead and store them. This now completes my closet organization. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe to stay tuned for more and I'll talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye!